We're learning more about the help available for homeowners and tenants looking for disaster assistance. Our Chelsea Davis is live on Maui tonight with more. Chelsea? Yeah, Ke'ahi, I'm at the FEMA State Disaster Recovery Center here at the University of Hawaii Maui College in Kahului. This is where federal and state agencies are coming together to help survivors. It's a one-stop shop in there for recovery assistance, and they say they will help survivors through anything and everything they need. Now, I shot parts of it out of focus to protect the privacy of the survivors in there, but they have assistance for renters and homeowners, help for small business owners, insurance claims and anyone who is now without a job and they say more agencies are on the way they say bring whatever documentation you have and if it all burned they will still help you anyway we always say document right after a disaster in this case um, you know it was no notice right and there was no ability to really document right that is not a barrier to receive assistance in this case um, just come in and bring what you have FEMA has already approved more than 1,600 households for cash assistance that they don't have to repay. They also want to expand to include Red Cross to speed up the process of getting people out of the shelter into temporary housing. And in this case, that's hotels. And they're encouraging people to come on by. Now, this FEMA State Disaster Recovery Center is open every single day until further notice from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And of course, we'll be posting all these details on our website website at hawaiinewsnow.com. Reporting live in Kahului, I'm Chelsea Davis for Hawaii News Now. All right, mahalo Chelsea. The Red Cross is ramping up efforts to pe get people out of shelters and into hotel rooms, all federally funded for at least eight months. Red Cross staff will be stationed at hotels to help with medical care, emotional support, and casework. This is not just a talking point. Like, this is happening right now. These decisions are going to have an immediate benefit on survivors in Maui, and I'm talking immediately. To be moved into a hotel, evacuees must register with FEMA, although they don't need to be eligible for FEMA aid. Those currently staying in congregate shelters will be relocated first, and the Red Cross will also be reaching out to those camping in tents and vehicles.